have a small demonstration of a couple of bipolar discharge, plate discharge Tesla coils. Uh, this is a real small one. This is a two point half. This is a two and a half inch uh, Tesla, 20 caps. All right, we're going to be running it in the shop, so we're going to be kind of conservative tonight. Uh, have a manually adjusted spark gap. Uh, very interesting what you can do with these. And you notice on this one, it's got the two spherical balls on the ends of the adjuster rods. That's to trap any spray that comes off a uh, static discharge that comes off, and uh, it really helps it quite a bit. All right, we're going to start. Uh, Start it up at low power. I'm going to bring it up to about uh, 9,000 volts, and then I'm going to manually adjust the spark gap to bring it up to optimum. Okay, now for part two. Well, this is the bigger one. A uh, lot more power out of this one. And the reason why I use the curved plates, uh, the flat plates on this one have a habit of throwing it upward. This here has more of a skin surface effect to it. It throws it in. I'm only going to run this one at about 40, 50 mils at about 10,000 volts because it can get carried away. I am going to take this down and back and put it on a bigger power supply. I'm going to shoot about 350 mils at 15,000 into it. That ought to be gruesome. Well, let's see what it does. That was about uh, 40 mils before it started arcing. I can open it up more, but not with that power supply. We'll do it. We'll try it with the big one down and back. That ought to be pretty good. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. You can adjust this. You can set this up in any configuration. I got four banks of 10 doorknob caps in the back of strontium. What was it, Bob? Tantanate tantanate caps. Yep. Okay. And that they work quite well. Pulse discharge, very nice capacitors. And just so you're wondering, this is a something that came up with. It's a an adjustable spark gap. Uh, works really good. Uh, you can really sink everything in. You can tune it right up very nicely. They work really good. If you build one of these, just make sure you insulate them with fiberglass rods, couplings, everything. Because watch it, you know. <laughs>